Hello, YouTubers. This is Practice Dummy. I'm here to show you a little demo of a program that I use to decrapify Windows 8. Uh, the program is called Start Us Back. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the control panel and show you. It's all one word here. Start is back. And what it does is it gives you the start button back. Now that skull icon is actually uh, uh, a set of icons I downloaded for the start button. And it's not part of the, uh, uh, the pack that comes with start is back. So <laughs> if you have your own custom icon or whatnot, you can add it to start is back and get it back. But it brings back the start menu that you enjoyed in all the previous operating systems. And also with Start Us Back, you can eliminate um, uh, the uh, Metro interface almost in its entirety, although you could bring back the Start screen as you want. I did with Start Us Back, renamed it as Apps, and all I have to do is just hit Escape and I can get out of that. But I also eliminated the, the Charms bar with it. And see, uh, when you open up the Charms bar, you have to just take your mouse, put it up in the upper right or the lower left, but no charms bar appears because with start is back, I got it eliminated. So, uh, yay, death to the Metro interface and death to the charms bar. But this is how it works. Um, uh, when you want to bring up the start is back control panel, you want to right click on the start button, select properties. This is after you installed the program. And then you have, um, first of all, the start menu. This is something that can't, you know, is something that you can uh, select the properties in for Windows 7 and beforehand. Uh, that's basically, you know, what it is right there on the start menu. Appearance, you can change it. As I said, the skull is not part of the original <laughs> deal. Uh, the Lucky Charm symbol, the two different Windows symbols, and the, the Windows 8 symbol here are all part of that. And then you can, of course, get different start menu interfaces after a fashion, I suppose. So, you know, for me, I uh, um, um, already had a, another set of icons to put in, which is the skull, and I put that in, and I just stick with the default start menu style, but um, you can add, you know, more if you want by hitting that. Uh, disable the start, oh yeah, I want to do that. Taskbar translucency. Yeah, I want to do that too. Okay. <laughs> Hide the start button. Why would we do that? Show progress as a flyout menu. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, switching. Um, <laughs> this is more of advanced controls and whatnot and allows you to. Uh, uh, take out things. Now I killed the charms ball by, by uncheck marking uh, both of these uh, that you know has to do with the charms bar and uh, took care of that and then these other uh, sections right here you can change up the behavior on things so and then um, you got some advanced where, you know, one, I renamed the start screen to apps and keep only modern apps there. And then you got the about that tells you about that. It said I got program evaluation, but I did buy uh, myself a key, uh, five uh, PC key, so I just got to activate it, and I'll do that after the video. But essentially, that's the, the whole scenario. Like, I can hit the Windows key or click on the start button either way. Yay. And now we have um, a very much working start menu and a working desktop. As I said, you can go to the Metro interface or at least what we call the app screen if you want and operate out of there. But why would you? <laughs> because the vast majority of the world hates the Metro interface, absolutely hates the charms bar and longs for the days of Windows 7, which I still have my copy and will never get rid of it. But I hope this demo helps you out. Um, start us back. A two PC license is only $3 and a five PC license is $5.
there is no way in the world that anyone could not afford to buy the program and start us back all one word as I said um, is the best as far as you know start button plus um, you know kind of like a metro replacement uh, program out there so um, purchase it it's well worth the purchase and it'll take away a lot of the headaches concerning Windows 8 now certain things will uh, still be a Windows 8 thing like for example let me bring up the task manager you get the Windows 8 um, thing to show up and then the task manager is supposed to show up but yet it doesn't okay <laughs> that is probably on me I changed up uh, uh, some settings and I think I'm gonna have to go back and change that back around and get things going oh okay no there it is boy that's slow <laughs> but there we go yeah the task manager is actually improved over previous uh, versions of Windows but it's no match for Process Explorer get it still for those that want to be power users and whatnot but okay for now this is the the video uh, uh, showing uh, start us back and how it could change your Windows 8 user experience for the better and decrapify Windows 8. Um, I guess that's all I can say about it. If you're stuck with Windows 8 or you have to upgrade to it for whatever reason, um, get start us back. It will make things a lot happier in your world. All right, folks, that is it. I uh, hope this helps you out. Uh, God bless you one and all, and take care.